Hello guys and welcome to the 10th tutorial of the series and today I'm going to be going over adding water. Uh, I know some of you are looking forward to that so let's I'm going to start off by opening a just like a map with some water in it that I made previously just to show you what it is and what water consists of. And then I'm going to show you how to make it. So I'm just going to go ahead and press play. So here I got a standard BSP brush, made a hole in it, so you might want to go do that quickly. And I'll show and basically this is what it is. I got some water. You can swim around in it. When you go under you get that cool blur effect, which I'll show you how to do. You can come out and it'll drown you if you stay under there too long, but I don't really have the time. So it's just gonna be a quick video, so just oh just make yourself a map with oh crap sorry I'm gonna open up that again yeah I'm gonna show you what it consists of so over here in my one of my viewports I got I'm just gonna move my builder brush down I've got a couple of different volumes well I've got the BSP brush here then I've got my water volume which is what makes me float around and lets me swim now let's move that down I've got a post process volume basically that's what does the cool blur effect like when you're under the water so I'm not gonna save this I'm just gonna open up a basic uh, test map like it's just a BSP brush with a hole in it just, just before I did any work on it. So, first of all, you want to go to your content browser, open that up, Control Shift F, go to Actor Classes, it, the Actor Classes tab, and then go to Fluid, Fluid Surface Actor, and then just drag it on. Don't choose f Surface Actor Movable. You just want a normal Surface Actor. Make sure it fills your hole or whatever you're working with where you're trying to put water in okay don't want it too big and pull it up a bit okay so I want it there so let's just go to the side here quickly so if you choose it you get the you get the ripple effect so that's just part one so now we want to line our builder brush up in this viewport here. Or if you so if you if you got it maximized like this, just quickly press this button and line it up. I'm just gonna extend that. Zoom out a little bit. So yeah, you want to line up your builder brush with the red line, which is the fluid surface actor. So line that up as best as you can and right click on the volumes bit here go to at UT water volume and then right click again post process volume so we just move our builder brush down quickly and then the water volume should be on top so just move that down as well quickly that is the pinky purple uh, box then you should find another one that's exactly the same underneath it which is pro pro uh, post process volume so you wanna click enable DOF which is depth of field which will be doing all the blurring so you want to let's see if I can find it uh, max near I, I max uh, far I want that to be 0 0.3 and I want this to stay 1 I think it is Okay. Um, let me just go up quickly. Let's just change this to ninety six or something relatively high. Basically, it's just practice with these settings. You gotta go work out which one. gonna put fly on quickly 
Okay, so it's another setting. So you want to change this from 2000 to, let's say, 100. I think this might be it. Nope. Change this to something like, um, I don't know. Oh crap. Ninety six, ninety six. Press play, go down, and it's all blurry as if you was underwater. So that's that for now. I'm just gonna get out. Even in the editor, it will be blurry. So just get out of that. Try grab your water volume. Put that back up. Go down. make sure it's lined up correctly and you will have swimmable water but you're probably thinking that looks nothing like water so we're gonna go to the content browser quickly let's open that up control shift F and press a little thing down there we want to go to just type in water there is a couple of water presets that come with UDK for example this one here let's double click on it just to fully load it and give that a second then close that right, right click on the fluid surface actor materials assign from content browser and you should get a water effect on there so press play from here and there you have it you have some water there's a couple of other um, things you can do over there for example there is a just right click on there materials there's a slime one so just go to, just click, now it's fully loaded loaded just gonna right click seeing as you can't um, target not target sorry click on transparent materials such as this one and now you have um, slime or whatever you want to call it there we go and you have some slime and it's all good sorry and uh, yeah that's about all I wanted to show you for the tutorial um, have fun, good luck with your game. Comment, like, subscribe and look forward to the next episode.